My faith is relentless. Yeah. Come on, if you with me, then pick them up and put them down. Boots to the pavement, kingdom invasion, proclaiming his name and reclaiming his people. We are the church, no building, no steeple. Making our Lord popular, evangelizing the youth and raising up the generation of Joshua to rise up. Wise up and open their eyes up and live unashamed for the Christ living inside us. Relentless. Yeah. My faith is relentless. My faith is relentless. We're back again with Relentless Faith. And once more, I'm your host, Sean Hamilton, a.k.a. Pastor Sean. We've got a great show lined up for you today. Love Collide is a group of girls from Nashville, Tennessee. they got a great song that they're going to sing right now from their album, Resonate. Resonate is uh, the title track for our album and we made it the title track because Resonate has just become the, our mission. We want to resonate Jesus and everything that we do. We want um, the sound of revival to be so loud that it resonates throughout the entire world. Yeah. So basically we just want to be loud for God. We want to get excited for Him. We want to get passionate for Him and that to bounce off of us and go on to someone else who sees that and they want to do the same thing and then it bounces off of them and then bounces off of them and just becomes this ripple effect and this incredible just party for God, just an excitement that we, I feel like this world has kind of lost. So we're ready to bring that back. We're ready to start revival through Resonate.
So Rave is kind of the same theme as Resonate. Um, it's about um, living out for Jesus. Um, and, and Jesus said that he came to give life and life to the full. And so that's what we want to do in Rave. It's, it's really about the, the party that life can be and how um, joyful um, life can be and, and, and full of life. And so that's, that's what Rave is, just about raving for Jesus. And that's what the whole, our whole lives are about. And not being afraid. Yeah. Be bold.
Welcome back to Relentless Faith, and we are back with Love Collide, straight out of Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, Lauren and Brooke, they both had some things they want to talk to us about. Anxiety, dyslexia, there's a lot of folks out there dealing with these couple of things. So, self-image, let's talk about it. As individuals, we both have our own struggles, our own things that we go through, and um, one, of, one of the battles, one of my, my fears, it's not really a fear, but it's something I struggle with, is, is dealing with anxiety, and um, dealing with um, that on a daily basis. It's, um, you know, on stage, I never thought, like, I would be, like, going out, like, off of stage afterwards and, like, talking to all these people and, like, signing autographs and getting to know people. That's, that part is the scary part for me and dealing with that anxiety, but knowing that God, um, I mean, He works through our weaknesses. And um, I talk about my anxiety when we're on stage and um, I say, you know, but God is so much greater and He can work through me through my weakness and shine through my weakness. So because of that, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of my weakness. And I'm not ashamed of the things that I struggle with. Um, so that's, that's one of the things for me. There's a lot of people who deal with anxiety and um, oftentimes when we, uh, when I say we, people who deal with anxiety, um, get those, those times, those moments where we just feel like it's just kind of caving in, the walls are caving in, um, knowing that you're not alone and knowing that, because um, I know for myself, when I get anxiety, I start getting anxiety about having anxiety and I've talked to a lot of people and it seems to be pretty common because um, they start to feel that and then start to panic that they're feeling that. And um, there's kind of two things that have really helped me. It's one, um, knowing that you, like I don't have to figure it out why I'm feeling what I'm feeling because that's often what I try to do and it makes it worse. Um, but knowing that God knows exactly what I'm feeling, why I'm feeling it. Um, I'm not crazy for feeling what I'm feeling. You know, you're not crazy for feeling what you feel. It's just, it's just what's going on. And to um, know that God is completely understanding and He's not up there being like, well, get your stuff together, like hurry up, like move through this. He's patient and He is there with you in that moment and He wants to help you through that and wants to just hold you. A lot of times you just have to be in that moment and um, even kind of allow those feelings to happen. Allow, not anxiety, but just allow um, just those moments of being overwhelmed. It, it to be okay that you're getting overwhelmed. It to be okay um, and know that on the other end, there, there is another end, there is, there is light. Um, so not, not trying to not have anxiety all the time and knowing that God knows you so perfectly and knows exactly why and He's not up there judging you. He wants to hold you and He's there with you. And you're not alone, that's what I would say. Something that I've always struggled with is seeing myself the way that God sees me and um, not caring like what other people think or stuff like that because all of my life I've struggled with dyslexia and other strange learning disabilities so it was always hard for me to um, to go through school and no matter if it was what people told me or what I just thought of myself I had a very twisted view of myself and um, and I realized, you know, as we were writing and as we share our music, a lot of people are the same way. And I feel mm -hmm. like that's something that we can all relate to. Yeah. Um, we feel like we're not good enough. We feel like um, we're not good enough to do big things with our lives. We're not smart enough. We're, we've done too many bad things in our lives. And the truth is, uh, the, what we speak on stage is that doesn't matter what you've done, doesn't matter what you will do, God wants to use you in big ways. Yeah. He wants you to change the world. He wants to change the world through you. And so that's um, that's kind of what we talk about and that's something that I struggle with, you know, all the time. It's something you have to continue to overcome, continue to battle. We're continually because, being refined. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. And so, um, so that's something that we struggle with and we just always want to be honest with it and mm -hmm. always tell people just the way it is. We all go through things. We're open books.
Love Collide, I like that name. You know, I love collides with your heart. It changes you. It makes you become more aware of who you are because now you start to understand that you're in Christ Jesus. And once you figure out that you're in Christ Jesus, what somebody else has to say about you or concerning you don't amount to a hill of beans. So we thank God for what he does inside of us. Uh, there's a verse of scripture in Philippians chapter four, verse six, where it says, be anxious for nothing but in all things, prayer, supplication, make your request known unto God. He tells us in his word also, he says, if you ask me, I will do it. You don't have it because you didn't ask for it. A-S-K, ask him and he will do it for you. Now let's close out the show with Love Collide. We're gonna sing a beautiful song called Yahweh. You need Jesus in your life because without Jesus, there really is no purpose to this life here on earth. We are created to, to live for Him and um, this life isn't easy and we need a Savior. We need a Savior not, not just from, um, you know, the, the darkness of the world, but really um, from ourselves. We can't save ourselves. We can't um, be good enough people. We can't work hard enough. Um, but Jesus loves us so much. Uh, God loves us so much that He sent Jesus. He sent Jesus to die on the cross for us so that we could spend eternity in heaven with Him. And when He died, He didn't stay dead, He rose again. And so we can have eternal life um, with Him and we have eternity like living in us. We have Jesus living in us when we accept Him, when we accept that gift. And our lives here can be filled with joy, filled with joy because of because of Jesus and what He mm -hmm. did and how God loves us so much. And then of course, the eternity on the other side of living with Him in, in paradise. You need Jesus in your life because uh, as humans, we f know that there is a void in our hearts and, and you may know what I'm talking about. There's something there mm -hmm. that's missing. Um, and we sometimes we try to fill it with you know, different pleasures. Sometimes we fill it with relationships or with uh, careers or whatever else. But I will tell you right now, mm -hmm. nothing is going to fill that void except for Jesus Christ. Nothing. I've chased after all kinds of different things and the only thing that has ever filled me to the rim has been Jesus Christ. He has filled me up with joy. He's filled me up with peace. In the times where I felt like I couldn't have any joy and I couldn't have any peace, mm -hmm. there were. Because He lived inside of me. Yeah. And 
He did die on the cross for us. He did save us. We, we were broken and we um, sinned before Jesus Christ died on the cross to get rid of everything for us, to set us free from bondage, to set us free from pain, to set us free from all the things that would bind us down as human beings. He set us free from all that. So we can have joy and have peace and have life in Christ because He lives inside of us. Your feet.